Hello everybody, I just a very quick video here about uh, multiple staves, Davisi staves and hiding staves. Uh, so I've got one of my own scores open, um, which is a large orchestral and choral work from some years ago. And I just want to point out while we're looking at page one with all of these uh, great huge number of staves on, and then to page number three, well for a start you can see we've got lots and lots of strings uh, down here because they're Davisi and they're not the kind of Davisi that would be easy to write. Um, two parts on one staff, uh, or to read two parts on one staff. Down here we've got um, just five lines because they're not Davisi um, and so they just fit into the usual five um, string um, parts or, or, or staves. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit and have a look at what's going on. Um, so on the first page the first thing to say is that we can see all of the instruments that are going to play in the orchestra. Um, obviously relatively limited uh, percussion, but if you've got people playing more than one um, percussion instrument, you would usually write all of the different things that they're going to play uh, on each individual line if they're going to change. And Sibelius will do that automatically in the part uh, for you. Uh, then we come down here into the uh, choral parts. Uh, you can see everything's quite squishy on the first page because of that um, idea of fitting everything in. So on the first page, ideally, we want to show all of the instruments that are playing. However, if we've got things that are going to be Davisi later, so for instance, perhaps my horns are Davisi later, um, I could even put, if I wanted to, all four horns on one line if they were playing unison or just homophonically over the first uh, page. The point is that by looking at the first page, I can see what's going to be in the orchestra. Uh, when we come down to the string parts, we can see that they do need to be Davisi. They're playing very different things, and if we tried to put two voices on one staff there in the violin one, they'd be overlapping and it would be very, very difficult to read. So that's why they are written as Davisi. Uh, on the other hand, the cello part, which is just um, uh, divided into two and playing um, uh, just two simple lines is all on one staff. Now when we go over to the third page where I mentioned they all play together, well you can see it's marked A2 here. Um, uh, when we get onto the third page uh, now we only have those star, uh, those those staves because they're all playing together and that's what A2 means. Um, in addition we can now see these blue dotted lines and what that's showing us is that there used to be a part in between here. In fact of course it still exists. If I went into the instruments menu in Sibelius you would see uh, and go to violin, violin 1A, violin 2, 1B and that is that my Davisi uh, part. Uh, but we don't need them at this point so they are hidden. Similarly we can go into the part and we can see uh, go back to the first page, we can see that they're Davisi in the part here and that they join into one part there with a beautiful cue and wonderfully typed set. What a fantastic exemplar this is. Um, so, uh, of course, the uh, thing that you might be thinking is, well, that's fabulous, James, but how do you actually do that? And the answer is with the very simple shortcuts, uh, Shift, Option, Command or Shift, Alt and Control if you're on a Windows computer, H for hide and S for show. So I'm just going to do the S one first here to show some parts if I get it right. Oh, so let's select something and try again. Blooming idiot. Sorry about that. All right, so let's just select a, a little passage. Uh, again, Shift, Alt, Control, S, or Shift, Option, Command, S. And you can see now it's saying, do you want to show empty staves? So I could go down here and say, well, actually, I do need Davisi strings at this point. So please, could I bring that back? And uh, it now that shows that uh, second violin line again, but it will only show for the bit that I highlighted. The other thing, and this is a problem that some of you have got when you've got, you know, these are just showing us things like, incredibly complex horn parts just on one page where they all really need their own page, uh, sorry, their own stave, is that you can probably save space and give yourself a more, you know, spaced, um, good-looking score by hiding staves that aren't in use. Now, in this case, I haven't hidden all of the staves that aren't in use because I would end up with um, quite a uh, you know, a big, a big, a incredibly wide spacing. And it can be quite confusing if you're following the piano line here and all of a sudden, because there's lots more space on this page, the piano line's up there. However, if you get to a point where you can hide enough staves to actually fit two systems onto a page, I think there's a solo... Uh, yes, here we go. There's a solo... a bit where we went to um, solo string players at this point. Um, and uh, 
so yes, so these are actually the names of the uh, soloists uh, who were uh, performing uh, this piece, and uh, they've got other strings accompanying them. So you can see that what I've done, ooh, a bit of dramatic thunder in my tutorial video, just to make you realize how important it is to uh, recompose Bach, as I was doing here. Um, uh, so what I've done is I've hidden the rest of the orchestra, apart from the players that are playing, and that means that I can fit a lot more music on that page. So what I'm saying is, that is a good thing to do. Uh, normally you would get the two little tram lines in here, and I don't have that, and that's probably a mistake. So Sibelius has those automatically in engraving rules. If you go to staves, um, uh, or maybe this has changed on Sibelius 8 point whatever it is. Oh no, instruments, instruments. I'm just looking in the wrong place. Uh, system separators appear when eight staves or more. So yeah. Uh, that should have shown at some point there, but anyway, I guess, I don't know, I could say one stave or more, maybe? I don't know, would that? Doesn't seem to have worked. Anyway, so they're like two parallel lines that would show there. So, that's um, where you might want to do it, but you don't want to just automatically go and hide all of the empty parts in a score, because you'll end up with something that looks a little bit silly. So let's just go and see whether I can do it here. So I'm going to press, this time, the shortcut, Shift, Option, Control, H, or... Uh, 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 shift, uh, sorry, sorry, shift, alt, control, H, or shift, option, command, H, and hide those parts, except, I'm sorry, being an idiot again, because I'm hiding here, I need to say instruments that don't play for the whole page. There we go. And you can, so you can see now why that's not a good idea, because how am I supposed to know exactly what instruments are playing unless I go and read it, and this is an A3 score, very big, so same kind of thing you're going to be doing. Um, so it's going to be hard for me to follow these lines, and then on the next page they're all the way down here, and that's very confusing. So um, you can use this judiciously, uh, but certainly for things like horns that divide into four separate parts uh, in some places, but are in, in other places are a one and three and two and four, or maybe one, two, three and four, all on one staff, you can save a lot of space. Now this is uh, going to be work that can be done probably best once it's been appended. I wouldn't advise you to go making that change um, uh, in your individual pages. Uh, it might be, uh, again, it might be a good idea to have a bit of a team working on doing the appending, so that can be done, or maybe someone does an initial append and then sends it around to other people to do that kind of fixing. I'm very happy, as you've seen, to answer questions. If I don't respond on the discussion within, you know, 24 hours, just uh, blip me a text message. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, I hope that helps, because uh, you've got a lot of notes to fit on some of those pages. Uh, so using the hide and show features uh, will be helpful. Oh, and by the way, they are either in the, because I know all of the uh, <laughs> shortcuts, I never think to show where they are in the menu. There we go. So layout tab, hide empty staves, and show empty staves will get you those same features. Okay, cheers all!